So I do the smoothie, which is not really delicious, but it's excellent for hair. And it's really, really good for skin as well, which is beetroot, half an orange, ginger, avla, and a little bit of banana. And it's really good. Hi, I'm Sabah Azad, and you're watching me on Tweak India. Sabah, me? <laughs> I usually wake up and tie my hair up in a bun and that's that. If I go on stage as Mink, then it's an entirely different story. If I have a gig, it's an entirely different story. Of course, shoot, you have a character to get into, so I'm in gym wear, so I'll wake up, I'll put on my, you know, gym clothes, and then you probably see me in my gym clothes till the evening, unless I have to go out somewhere. You know, I've tried to look towards people who understand fashion and say, yeah, you know, I'll get it, but I've, I've given up. I'm a frump, I'm going to be a frump, and I'm okay with it. I like to cleanse. Of course, I wake up and I do an ice bath for my face. So I do a minute of kind of putting my face into like a you know bowl of ice water. And then I do the cleanse, tone, serum, moisturizer, sunscreen. And uh, I start my morning with a glass of celery juice, empty stomach. So that's a couple of things I do for skin and hair to begin with. I use vitamin C. YBP has this thing called a plant remedy which is excellent, which feels like you're rubbing chlorophyll on your face. But I, I don't know what, what's on the inside, but I love it. It's green and I'm like, yeah, I like it. It feels good, healthy. <laughs> so I do the smoothie, which is not really delicious, but it's excellent for hair. And it's really, really good for skin as well, which is beetroot, half an orange, ginger, avla, and a little bit of banana. And it's really good. I like to have oats. So it's simple, I carry like a bag of oats and I just ask people to make it and whatever fruit they have, like bananas, like I mount chia seeds and stuff. And when I'm at home, I'll have an avo toast, two eggs. I'll end with a strawberry smoothie. I feel like Parana would do very little and would look great. I think she would just pull it off. Rose water maybe, you know, like a Mr. Rose water. But uh, for me, I, I like doing face packs. I like doing chandan and rose and nutmeg face packs. They're really good. You add a little bit of um, yogurt into it, a bit of lemon sometimes, depending on what you know what you want to do. And a lot of really beautiful uptans that you know that are found traditionally. You can kind of reach out to that. Dahi is always great. You know, milk is good. So yeah, my grandmother will give us milk baths every now and then. But yeah, very nice for the skin, moisturizing. Thrice a week I do yoga, and thrice a week I do weight training, strength training, and sometimes I do a hitch or I go for a swim. I've been a dancer, so I've been on my feet since I was four. If I don't work out, I will be depressed. So I love it, I need it. So I like doing rice water for the hair. I like putting anda on my hair. I do all kinds of bizarre shit, actually. I have this special oil that I make for it, um, which is like, onion and hibiscus and methi and curry leaves and kind of temper it and you let it brew for a while and, and I put that in my hair. I'm a none of the above girl. I don't drink chai or coffee. I love coffee but I have a bit of an addictive personality so I stay away from it. There's a thing that my dance teacher told me when I was very very little. She said before going on stage, before performing, you need to center. So instead of talking to people and you know, you know, making a lot of noise. You should just sit down in one place and center yourself. So I like meditating. That really helps me. Even if it's 15 minutes and that's it, that's all I got. You know, I've got two hours to get ready, one hour to get ready. I've got 15 minutes, I'll take them. Waking up and picking up the phone immediately. There's, you know, because we we don't have clocks anymore. So just to check the time and then it, it's a vortex that sucks you in. And that's the end of your day. I don't want to do that and I'm trying not to, but it's, it's, it's not easy. <laughs> Yeah, wake up and with an empty mind and, you know, just put things aside, digital things aside and you know, maybe start with reading, not on the screen.